On Google Hangouts, I have Talents by Ella and Natalie Johns who have an incredible story to share with us. I'm going to let them tell the story and I'm going to start with Talent. Talent, why don't you tell me about where you grew up? Um, I'm from, I grew up in South Africa, Durban, South Africa, on South Beach with my mom, stepdad, older brother and little sister. Okay, and when did you start skateboarding? I started skating when I was like nine, ten years old, like nine, ten years old. Okay, and what got you into skateboarding? Well, a lot of my friends did it and I don't know, I thought it was cool, it was a bit scary at first because I used to surf before I started skating and I always wanted to, I could ride a skateboard but I couldn't do tricks, I was always scared of like the dangerous part of it but when I started it kind of felt like natural, you know, I kind of thought what took me so long, like why didn't I do this, I don't know, why didn't I start this at a younger age but I guess it was the right time, perfect timing for me to start it. Okay, great. And you said you grew up with your mom, stepdad, and siblings. Can you tell me a little bit more about your family life? Um, I kind of, I would say I lived a normal life for like a kid of my age at the time. Like, I got the chance to go to school, but I wasn't like living the life, so to speak, because, I don't know, my parents stole drugs for a living, my stepdad did fraud, but like, it was, they did what they had to do to like survive and provide for us, which not many people can do, you know, not many people can like stick by their children when they're going through like a rough time, but they did all they could at the time. Awesome. And Natalie, can you tell me what talent was like when you met him? He was not just, not, he was like totally different to who he is now, but also exactly the same. Like his spirit and his personality and his kindness and his heart was exactly the same. But uh, he was like, you know, just figuring his, his stuff out. And he had been, um, he was still living full time on the streets when I met him. Um, and Tammy had, Tammy, Tammy Lee Smith used to take him home for Christmas every year, give him, a, you know, he, he knew her family very well. And they would always take him home for like the week of Christmas and make sure he was like well fed and you know had a nice time and stuff. So it was Christmas time and he was staying with them again. And she just didn't want him to go back to the streets anymore. And she just said like enough is enough. He doesn't want to do it anymore. He can't do it. Um, I don't want him to do it. Can you help? Like what can we do? He's you know he, he wants to like turn his life around. And Natalie you and Talent live in LA now which is very cool. Um, how did you get there? So I've been living I've been living outside of America outside of South Africa sorry for since I was 21 and I, I used to I studied film in South Africa and then I was living I was from the north coast as well living in Cape Town and then I, I went over to London and then I was living in New York um, and the, because because talents because the story that I wanted to T tell around talent wasn't just a story looking back at like his life on the streets it was a story like looking acknowledging his life on the streets but looking at what he could do to build a life for his future the fu his future for skateboarding was in the, the hub the central mecca of skateboarding so that's LA so um, basically we decided to I decided to move from New York to LA to relocate because I was working when I was living in New York I was working half in LA half in New York anyway so I was you know working between both cities so I just relocated full-time to LA um, got talent out last year November he was he spent a month with me in New York first in the freezing cold much to his disgust the first thing he said to me when he got off the plane was how do people live on the streets here when it's this cold <laughs> Talent, um, you're in the skateboarding mecca of the world, as Natalie just mentioned. What does it feel like to be there and skate amongst the pros? It's a trip. Like, I still wake up every morning. Like, I've been here for, like, almost a year, well, basically a year. And I still wake up every morning. I'm like, I'm in L.A., like, skating and seeing pros. Like, just skating down the road and you'll meet a guy that you've seen in a video. Like, guys that you looked up to, you know. Like, I never thought that I'd be here skating with these guys and seeing like all the famous like skate spots that you've seen in videos and 
meeting legends, you know, like people that you've seen in videos that you're like, damn, that guy's like a true legend. And I've gotten to meet many of those people, and that's like amazing. Not many people get that opportunity, you know. It's like, it's yeah, it's yeah, it's hard, it's hard to explain, but it's really, really amazing on so many levels, you know. Just for me, like as a person, you know, not just not just skating, you know, but just to, like meet and like interact and like talk to these people. It's like it makes me feel good as a person, not just as a skater, you know, because we both like do and share the same passion. I want to talk about something that's very important to both of you, Natalie. Um, you're putting together a documentary about talent story. Can you tell me about it? Yeah. Um, so as I said to you, you know, when when everybody reached out and they said, "Can you help him?" Uh, can you just make a help him make a video or, or something like that to raise his profile? I, I definitely wanted to do that, but I also, and everybody, you know, lo lots of people were talking about the story of this this kid who'd survived on the street since he was 11, and he was this character, this charismatic figure. But I also wanted to see if we could um, give him the tools to, like, you know, build a future. I, I wanted it to be forward-looking instead of retrospective, and and to be more of a you know, an, a documentary that followed his life and his journey, like off the streets, and how he, you know, how he was able to turn it around, if he was able to turn it around at all, you know. Um, so <clears throat> we started by, um, I started by sort of trying to find a mentor and skate. It all came from talent, actually. From I did this interview with him on the beach, and so the ideas all came from just listening to him and talking to him. And he was like, there's got to be a way to get good at skating, you know, and there's, there's got to be a way to get good. If you're around good skaters, you get good. So I thought, well, he didn't have a father figure in his life, you know, and the only sort of father type figure that he would like kind of look up to that could help encourage him to, to stay on the right path would be a pro skater. So we started by, you know, kind of looking around and seeing who was kind of a, a really respectful skater, somebody who basically, because the skate community isn't, is not is also a little notorious for its drugs and drinking, and I didn't want him to, like, work hard to, like, get away from what was his street life to only just to dive into it in another form in skateboarding, part of the skateboarding culture. So we, um, <clears throat> so I found this guy called Kenny Anderson, who's an amazing, amazing uh, pro skater um, and father of three, just like a super, like super nice human, Buddhist, wonderful, like great, big heart, very, very um, giving, very kind. Um, and he connected with Tell Story and, and, and said he was totally on board. And, and Colin Kennedy as well, one of the other producers, and this is a skate documentarian, also a father of four. And both of them kind of like really understood where talent was and what he needed and stuff and what he would be needing from the skate community and how they could surround him with the right type of people that would influence him in a positive way. Awesome. And how can people um, find the website and, and donate to help finish the documentary? So the documentary is called I Am Talent, and talent is spelled T-H-A-L-E-N-T-E, -E. Um, and the website is Seed and Spark. It's a crowdfunding website that's just specifically for um, uh, just specifically for film. So Seed and Spark, and if you just go to seedandspark.com, you'll see um, that it's on the home page the the trailer for the film that you can watch.